Tom Cooper here. Today I want to talk to you about plans that get done. I'm a leadership speaker, trainer, and coach, and I have spent years doing projects and planning projects. I even hold a certification in project management, and I want to teach you some of the basic things that I've learned. You know, some of that stuff is really overwhelming, but some of the stuff is really simple. So let's get started. You can create simple plans that actually get completed. Now, as I mentioned, we could spend hours talking about project management geeky things like PERT techniques and Gantt charts and work breakdown structures. But frankly, those are not the most help to the most folks. Most of those techniques are really valuable for very large projects, but they're not that useful for folks who are doing the day-to-day -day project work. So today we're talk about two different techniques that are going to make a difference for you. The first one is your task list, maintaining your task list and how to do that well. And the second is running your project meetings. These are the things we're going to focus on in today's video. First, let's talk about your project task list. This is a simple thing, but too often we don't make it happen. Now it's a simple list. It can be on a spreadsheet or, a, or just a sheet of paper. And there are four columns. Task, name. It's a simple shorthand way for you to refer to a small unit of work that needs to be done. Maybe it's, um, you know, emptying the trash is a task, right? <laughs> then you've got task description. This is a longer explanation of the task so that somebody other than you can easily understand what it is. Maybe the person who's going to do the work, that they understand what it is and what needs to be done. Third, due date. This is when the task is forecast to be completed. And finally, task owner. Who is the person who's going to complete the task? Now, I know this is super simple stuff, but it's really important because a lot of folks overlook it. So I just want to make sure we cover it. Having the project task list. This is the core to running a successful project. This one task list gives you the outline for the project meeting agenda. Now, the meeting agenda is simple, too. This is a piece of paper that's broken up into three sections. First, project news. Second, current activities. And third, next steps. So let's break these down. Project news. This is the place to talk about any major news, any accomplishments, or risks that the whole team needs to know about. This is the high-level overview, the 40,000 foot. It's the place to talk about big achievements, things the whole team needs to know about. This is the place, this is the, the uh, headlines, if you will, the 30-minute headline news broadcast instead of the two-hour detailed thing. So let's talk about current activities. What are the current activities? Well, the first thing you're going to do in the current activities section is you're going to go over those items that are on the task list that were due, they were active, they were scheduled to be done between the last meeting and this meeting. Now, this is important. As you go over each item on the list, you'd make notes on what didn't get done and what did get done. And now let me give you a powerful, powerful tip here. Make a note about where you can offer an encouraging word to a team member. Maybe it's a, a handwritten note. Maybe it's a, a Starbucks gift card or an ice cream cone, something like that. Most pe people don't do this kind of stuff, and it will really set you apart. It makes a huge difference in people's willingness to work with you and for you. You work all the way down the list until you get through all the items that should be complete. Now, what's going to happen? Some of the items aren't going to happen as, as they were originally scheduled, right? Just ask the task owner for a new date. Don't call them out publicly for failing to keep their commitment. The place to do that is outside the meeting. So all you do is you okay, just say, when is number seven going to get done? Now, you go through all the items in the task list, then you go to next steps. Now, this is the part of the meeting where you cover the items that need to happen between now and the next meeting. You go over each item on the task list, confirming with the task owner that they understand what's needed, they have the resources that are needed, and that they're prepared to commit to that due date column to make it happen. Now, uh, you want to thank everybody for coming and confirm the date of the next meeting. It's as simple as that. This is a simple way to make sure your projects get done, your project task list and your status meeting agenda. Now, I've got a sample of each one of these out of my website. It's in the resources section. Go to brighthillgroup.com, brighthillgroup.com, and uh, search for the sample meeting agenda and the sample project task list. These are going to be really powerful, and they're going to help you make a significant difference in getting your plans done. I'm Tom Cooper, and I want to thank you for joining us today. See you next time.
I think I recorded that. Did I? <laughs> <laughs>